Okay, are you gonna hit the record button? It's recording, like since ah, now it's recording. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Chai with us podcast. This is episode number three. I am Erica, the personal developer, and and I'm Ivana from Okolo Isabel. Thank you for joining us today. So today we are going to talk about creative creative energy. But before we go into that, I would love to read a message that we received this week, yes. uh, and I just love it. So I'm going to share it with you. Uh, so her name is Eliana. She's um, a friend of mine. What she says is, I just listened to this podcast while I was walking with my dog close to the house. So I was really enjoying it. Instead of music, it's always nice to listen to something good for us and our soul. Nice video. We all know how is not to belong and try to belong somewhere. This is, uh, she sent this um, after the belonging episode. She really related to it. So thank you, Juliana, for your message. Yes, thank you so much. We always appreciate your comments. So keep, yes. keep sending them in, please. <laughs> yes, everybody, send comments. And we always forget about this. So I'm going to say it at the beginning. If you want to support us, share, like, comment, follow us whenever you find us, okay? Wherever you find us. Thank you. So yeah, let's get into it. Creative energy. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, tea. What are you drinking? Yes. Ivana, what are you drinking? I am drinking a rose hip tea uh, and it's from Bosnia. So it's really nice and, and a deep dark red. And I love it. It's my favorite, one of my favorite teas. Mm. What about you? Okay. I am drinking sage tea Ooh. and I've heard that it's very good for uh, women, if you mm -hmm. usually have a period, uh, if you have a lot of pain in your period, just mm -hmm. uh, drink this tea and it gets better. I usually drink it before, you know, a few days before, and it really helps me a lot. Don't drink this in the evening. I don't remember why, mm. but don't do it. <laughs> Maybe because you'll, you'll have to wake up a lot. I don't know. Yeah, yeah that works for all the teas, right? <laughs> Hmm. All right. So creative energy. Uh, let's start with what is it? What do you think it is? What does that mean for you? For me, creative energy can be anything. Uh, it can be coming up to a, for a solution to a problem that you've had. It can be baking, creating something with your hands. Mm -hmm. uh, writing, like when you write, you're creating a manuscript, like you're creating a written record of, of your thoughts. Uh, dance, we all know how much I love to dance every morning. Yes. <laughs> yoga poses, yoga poses mm -hmm. are creative energy because you're moving into different poses. Uh, and so you're creating a new pose. Mm -hmm. And they say that dancing is, is really one of the main ones because when you're constantly moving, every, diff every movement is a new creation. Uh, so there's many things that uh, creative energy is. What about you? What is creativity to you? Well, for me, I think that anything that inspires me is creative energy uh, or anything in life basically is creating uh, creative energy. I feel that we are all creators because we are always creating something. We are creating mm -hmm. a conversation. We are creating a sentence. Uh, and sometimes we create things that really caught people's attention, you know, get people's attention, like a beautiful painting mm -hmm. or, um, or something like that. But creative energy is making, for example, cooking a meal out of mm -hmm. no ingredients. That's creative energy. Creative energy is being able to transform my energy using creative tools or mm -hmm. uh, it's, I feel like this creative energy is more like everything it's, it's in the air right and we we all yeah. carry this inside of us because we are all creators 
So and what's beautiful really is that when you're in this creative process, you're always in the moment. So you're mm. never distracted from it. Like, so let's say that you're painting, you're, all your focus and attention is on the painting and drawing it and painting yeah. it. And that's what's so beautiful because you're in the moment and you're present. You don't need to check out. So yeah. even having conversations is, is creative when you're fully engaged in it. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. Yeah, it's one of the few times that we have the opportunity to do stuff just for the sake of doing it, mm -hmm. right? When we are basically just uh, working and dancing with the universe or with the person we're talking about, um, we're yeah. talking to, yeah. So uh, creativity goes towards the second chakra. And I know that last week we discussed the chakras. So chakras mm -hmm. are centers of energy. Chakra means wheel. And they are energy centers along your spine. You have seven of them. And so the second one is called Svadhisthana or sacral chakra. And it is uh, above your pubic bone and below your navel. So this is where your genital areas are. And so the reason this is considered creative energy is because this is where you create babies. But it doesn't just have to be towards babies. It can be using your creative energy effectively, like we just talked about. Mm -hmm. um, some re things that will say that you might have an imbalance in this um, sacral uh, chakra is if you have an emotional instability, if you are afraid of change, maybe sexual dysfunction, depression, addiction. So addictions is a big one. Maybe you don't know how to channel this creative energy that you have and you start to turn towards addictions, which can, which can be drinking, smoking, mm -hmm. uh, eating obsessively, and it can present itself as a uh, eating disorder. Um, some other things that will tell us that you have an imbalance is if you have cysts, kidney problems, lower back pain, gynecological problems. Mm -hmm. So there are things that you can do to unblock this energy that has been stagnant in your sacral chakra. You can um, do left nostril breathing. So you close your right nostril and you breathe and you try to do eight to 10 breaths and that will start to signal your sacral chakra. You can also chant VAM, V-A-M, VAM, VAM, VAM. So just spend a few minutes in the morning doing this breathing exercise with your right nostril closed and your left nostril open, and then mm -hmm. chant VAM um, and see how you start to feel. Do it for about a week and see if you've noticed any changes in how you're feeling internally. Um, there are also some yoga poses that Erica is going to explain that you can do to help unlock this stagnant energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do the seated circles. Basically, you sit down, your feet are together. For this pose, uh, uh, for this posture and for the other ones, please keep your back straight. Even though if you, you're moving forward, please also try to keep your back straight. It's very important. So for the seated circle, we have our feet together. We lean forward and we do circles. Yeah, backwards circles. and and forward forward <laughs> i'm doing them with you i just can't explain this kind of stuff without moving so, i think i understand yeah and the other one is a, a little bit similar because you have your feet together as well which is butterfly we all know butterfly right so your feet are you are seated uh your feet are together your knees wide open you basically can hold your feet with your hands and you lean forward the most you can and the third posture would be cobra pose you basically lay down on the floor your hands are going to be uh, just below uh, your shoulders what you're gonna do is when you are on the floor and people are not seeing me but you are basically <laughs> on the floor and you lift your chest keep in mind that your back should be always straight okay uh, we are probably going to link this so you can actually see it uh, especially if you are on on Spotify we're going to link the poses for you to see it as well and uh, to practice at home. Ivana, love the information about the chakras. You are such a pro on it. Uh, I'm learning as well as we know. So that's, 
That's really yes. cool. Love it. And I just want to say to all people, there's nothing wrong with you if you're not accessing your creative energy. It's just oh. that that's how the school progressed. Like as oh. you were a child, maybe like you were in first grade, you got to play and you're very creative. But then as you progressed into middle school and high school, you had to take all these multiple choice tests. And so you were given four or five choices and then you had to choose a choice. So it didn't really allow for you to explain your answer. It didn't allow for you to be creative with the solution to the problem. And so actually it's our schooling system that kind of makes us be the same in a way. It doesn't allow for our creativity and our individualism. Yeah. And something else that's so simple and creative is, especially for women, when you get dressed in the morning, putting your outfit together, that's creative. Like picking jewelry, doing your makeup, so in some way you are being creative. Maybe you just never realized that those are actually creative energy that you're accessing. So putting on your earrings, putting on your blue lipstick, uh, that was a creative decision that you made this morning. Yeah. So, you know, there are some things that maybe you don't think are creative, but they are. Yes, totally. Uh, I think this is really important for people to understand that we are all creative because we are all creators. We are yeah. creating something all the time so mm -hmm. yes you are a creator and you are a creative person even though you don't know and school and society uh, they don't help us to be no, creative right because we have to follow the rules we have mm -hmm. to follow certain norms and so we have to go there to go there and we have to act accordingly because otherwise then we are probably misfits uh, so it is normal and sometimes it's not that you are not a creative person, sometimes it's that you didn't exercise your creativity, mm -hmm. right? Um, of course, there are some people that are especially talented, who knows, but you know, I took uh, acting lessons and singing lessons and you know, pretty much everybody can sing, pretty much everybody can do it. But we think that we have to have, you know, you need to have something special. Yeah, okay. If you want to be Beyonce, yes. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you cannot sing or you cannot do it. At least, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I think this, this goes like as a segue for the other things that you can do uh, yeah. to be creative, which is one of the things that I took note of is like, do new stuff, try new things, mm -hmm. learn mm -hmm. and try it out because most of us, we have no idea of what we are capable of doing. Uh, and sometimes we try and we surprise ourselves um, with the things that we are able to do. And even though, even if you don't achieve the result that you are waiting for, in the process, ideas will come and this energy will flow and help you mm -hmm. in, another, um, in another areas of your life. So mm -hmm. trying new things is one of the things that I think is very important. If you feel that your creative energy is like uh, low and you feel like you're not creative, I mean, try new things. That would be a good one. I agree. Uh, it can be as simple as like, when you're walking home or you're driving home, take a new road if you can. Like, go mm -hmm. through another neighborhood. It doesn't have to be this stuff. You have to start acting. No. Just you know, next time you drive home, go down a different street and observe how that street is different instead of just automatically driving home. Yeah. And that will help with your fear of change. So many of us are afraid of change because it's the unknown and we don't mm. know how. But I love change. To me, I, I, cause of me, because I've moved around so much, I, I'm, I've embraced it. And to me, like, I'm afraid of staying in the same place all the time. Like, that is scary to me, <laughs> which I know is not what the normal people think. But to me, that scares me. Every six years, I got to pack my bags and move. Like, I need, <laughs> I need a change. Oh, wow. uh, which I know is not the norm. Um, no, it's, it's not. It's not. Well, it's for a lot of people, it's the norm. And it, it used to be my norm. Now I'm a little yeah. bit more, well, I love change, but I don't like physical change, you know? I like to move mm -hmm. the house and I, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't like moving. No one likes moving. I, I just like want to stay in here. <laughs> yeah. No one likes moving. It's true. It's true. No one likes moving. And that's when you really find out who your friends are. Are they busy or are they going to help you move? It's true. I, I have one friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's, that's the test of friendship. Who comes and helps you when you need to friends. move? Because everyone hates it. Exactly. That's how I know I just had one friend. <laughs> 
and look at you know that was a creative process you had to figure out how to get the couch out of the living room and out the door yes yes it's so crazy creativity is everywhere it um, is. we just don't realize it you just you just remember me of, like of something that I do often and I don't even realize which is changing things around the house Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's creative really and it moves yes. the energy around and I feel so mm -hmm. good after doing it. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What other ways can people boost their uh well for me like i love writing i i love keeping a journal and i know you do too yes. um and i just write whatever comes to my mind mm -hmm. and then uh i'll go back and i'll read it a couple months later and it's so interesting to see how much you've changed and how maybe you don't think the same way anymore like you don't have yes. those same feelings that you had but it's really very nice to be reflective and go back to yes. read it i also do um new moon and full moon affirmation so whenever the new moon is coming in the full moon i always look it up and what sign it is and what that represents and then i'll just journal and i'll write down what do i want to happen in the next six months when the moon is mm -hmm. back in the same month like what do i want to see next month and and i love that because it's, it's putting out goals out there and then subconsciously my energy is creating that to make it happen so there's it's so important for you to physically write down what you want to happen in your life Yes. And Erica loves to talk about vision boards. So why don't you tell us, like, how do, how does a person who's never heard of a oh vision boy. board, like, create one? Like, what is a vision okay. board? Okay. A vision board is basically a board uh, or a poster with pictures or visual clues of your future, of your ideal future of all the dreams that you have and sometimes you don't dare to tell people. So a vision board is that. So the traditional version would be, you know, you would go to buy some cards and then uh, cut something out of magazines and journals. <clears throat> and uh, you, can, you can do that, of course, but since uh, I like tech, now I do everything in my computer. So you can, you can do either way, okay? So I have several versions. One of them, you just basically go to PowerPoint and Google whatever images can relate to what you are thinking about doing, okay? Try to be really, really, really specific and choose images that it doesn't matter if they're real or not. That's, that's the point, you're not there yet. So you are projecting, okay? So just enjoy the creative process. It's just, just think about it as a beautiful poster of a beautiful life that you, you will have a few, a few years from now. So put the images, uh, PowerPoint or whatever, or just use some collage app or something. And then you grab this image and you have it everywhere i don't know print it put it in your cup doors when you open it um use it as a screen saver i have mine as a whatsapp <laughs> background people ask me like can you read i don't care <laughs> i don't care it's my visual board okay and there is another process um that i love that i commented with you commented with you the other day which is from the aspen it is given Okay. Uh, so this process is more, it's like a visual uh, like a vision board but I like it because it's very interactive uh, because you have to keep adding things so basically you can have a box I have a folder uh, on my telephone okay so and you write down in this folder whatever uh, this folder contains is if you have a box whatever this box contains is and then you keep adding images of what you want. I promise you, kid you not, everything that I added to this folder is real right now. So everything I want something new, I just put it on this can folder. You, can you give us an example that you yeah. like to share of like one of or two things? This podcast. Yes. <laughs> this podcast is an example. Um, let me open the folder because I think it's easier this way. So this podcast is, is um, was in the folder when, what is what? Okay, here you go. So the podcast and uh, my 
coaching training was there. So I cut the um, the school logo and put it in mm -hmm. a folder. Is there? I wanted to. Oh, my work where where yeah. I work right now in school is there. Uh, pretty much everything. India is here. Uh, yeah. That's very Dude. right. And yeah. and this podcast, like you didn't know who you were going to have a podcast, how you're going to have it. it. You just wrote that you wanted to have a podcast and you set it out into the universe. Yeah. And then you let the universe figure out how to give that to you. Yeah. Yeah. And I like, go ahead. Uh, just like since we are in this vibe, another good thing is bucket lists. Because yes. the other day you yes. said something, I was like, oh, that's on my bucket list. Yes, exactly. yes. And what did I say? Do you remember? Going to yes. Bali. Let's go, let's, let's go to Bali and whatever. And I was like, well, like I have it on my bucket list to go to Bali and actually record the podcast over there. Yes. Yeah. And that's what I also want to say. It is incredibly important that you are very specific with what you want. And I'll give mm -hmm. you an example. So I wrote um, in one of my new moon or full moon affirmations that I want more sweetness in my life. I didn't write like how or what. I just wrote that. So fast forward, I was working at Pulchati as a Karmi Yogi, and we went out to buy some supplies that I needed. Mm -hmm. And I bought like a jar of honey and, and a bunch of other jars. And I came back to my room. I had like the most beautiful day. I went and I got a massage. I forgot about all the stress that I had with the group. Like everything was calm. We were waiting for the new group to arrive. I was in this beautiful energy. I come back to my room, I throw my bag on the bed, it falls to the ground, I'm like, whatever, I'll pick it up later. Well, guess what happened? The glass jar of honey broke, and there was honey all over my bag, on my bed, on, on even money, there was honey on the money that I had in the bag. And then I got so upset because I had to clean it up. And you know how hard it is to clean broken glass that's like engulfed with honey it's out not of your fun. bag? I don't know, and I don't want to know. It's not fun, and so I was like, I got all upset. And here's this moment that could have ruined my whole day, right? Because I was so upset that I lost. The honey was expensive. I lost it. I didn't have it anymore. I couldn't use it. I had to spend like 30 minutes cleaning my room of all the honey so I wouldn't have ants in the room. And I was just frustrated. And I told myself, there's no reason to be upset. Like you had the best day. Don't allow this one situation to ruin your whole day. Like that's not, you had the most beautiful day. Stay in that energy. And fast, you know, then a day later, I'm reading my journal. And guess what I wrote in my journal? I want more sweetness in my life. And here was a seat. <laughs> Here was the seat nest. It was covered all over my room. It was in the bag. It was on the money. It was on the bed. So when I say be very specific with what you write as your information so that you don't end up like covered in honey everywhere. But lesson. it happened, right? That's a the lesson. Lesson yeah, of the, the day. Lesson. Be specific. Be specific. <laughs> be careful with what you wish for. Exactly. Because <laughs> it will happen. And this is, we're laughing, but it's true. What you wish for will happen. Okay, and so. Don't, and don't, I have a tendency to do, well, I want this, but if I can't have this, give me this. No, that's the lawyer in me writing it. Like, you need to write it as you, as a person. I want this and just this. Not, oh, if I can't have this, I'll take option B. That's mm -hmm. not being, like, very proactive or positive with your affirmations. It needs to be very direct, and you need to be specific with what exactly it is that you want. Yeah, yeah. And returning a little bit to the uh, journaling situation uh, and practice, uh, this is a very good example that you just that you just gave us pretty for free. Like write down the things that you want, because when you write it down, you are creating the things that you mm -hmm. want. You cannot. You can be like, I don't believe in manifestation. Okay, just believe in your brain because once you write it down and you see it everywhere, you're going to look for a way to make this happen. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Or things will start to come into your life that make it happen. So you never know yes. how it's going to happen. And that's so perfect. You know, I think we both have read The Alchemist. Yes, uh, which is such a good book. And the thing that I got from that book is that if you have a dream and you go after it and you take the first step, the whole universe conspires to help you make it happen. Yeah. Like I talked about it, I think in the first podcast, like I quit my job in 2015 and in mm -hmm. two weeks I moved my apartment. I got out of the lease. I got my Indian visa and I ran to India and I didn't know it was a split decision, but I made that decision. So I set the 
the ball rolling. Like it was me making a choice and then everything else came together. I had a friend fly from New York to Chicago to help me move. I mean, that is yeah. like a real friend that did, you know what I mean? Like that yeah. was so beautiful. And uh, it really showed me that I have so much support in my life, even though sometimes I feel that I'm alone in this journey. I'm not. Mm -hmm. People are supporting you. Sometimes you just have to ask for help. You know, if there's something that you really want yeah. and you've written it as an affirmation, maybe sharing it with people. Like I started sharing that we're going to do this podcast so that people know about it. And both, I think we both want to write a book. And so I keep telling everybody I'm going to write this book because they're going to hold me accountable. They're going to be like, what chapter are you on? Yes. Right now I'm on zero. I'm on the table of contents. <laughs> Ta -da. Okay. You know I'm going to start in June, right? Yes. You now are. everybody I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to make you start in June. I'm going to start in May and you'll start in June and then we'll see how far it goes. Okay. okay. Challenge accepted, everybody. We are manifesting here. You see? Yes. Creating, yes, manifesting, exactly. putting it out there. Now you can be my accountability buddies. All of you. Yes. Yes. Exactly. We're going to hold you accountable. Thanks. <laughs> but I think you need that. Like, you know, when you share something deeply and, and intimate and something that you want with somebody else, it, it's, you finally put out into the universe, you know, mm -hmm. like it's out there and, and you're being true to who you are. You're, you're yes. tapping into that individuality now. Totally. And you know what, like the, I it just came to my mind right now. Sometimes you don't even know. Sometimes people see it because mm -hmm. I mean, you know what my brother told me you should be on YouTube like six months ago. Yes. I was never, no, no, I'm not showing my face, I'm not whatever, I'm not whatever, I'm going to write, I'm going to be behind, and here I am. So sometimes people see it, so, you know, when you have one person, two people, three telling you things, you know, they may be feeling your energy, and they know what you are capable of, when you, when I you don't believe it yet. Mm -hmm. It's so yeah. true, because the other people will see something in you. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I'm always told that like, I'm a listener that I, I, I say, I give messages to people that they didn't even realize, yes. but that comes from being trained as a lawyer. Like as a lawyer, you have to like learn how to deeply listen to your client and figure out a legal solution for them to get out of the problem that they're in. So we have all these skills. Maybe we just never like realize that we have them until somebody else points it out to us. Yeah. So maybe for this week we can ask our audience, like what is something that, uh, other people have told you that you're skilled at that you'd like to share with us yes yes let's yeah. do that people just send us give us the goodies yeah. send it to us um, yeah so uh, another just a few things that I have here that I, I still want to share with you to boost your creativity uh, doing things that you love will help with your creativity because it opens mm -hmm. up your mind and your heart uh, one very important, uh, that, that should be the first one, do not judge yourself. Yes. yes. Because if you start judging yourself, then you are getting into it, whatever you're doing. And it's not to be like the, the vibe that you want to have. So don't judge mm -hmm. yourself if you're trying something. You know, you're trying something. It's okay. All right? Just don't, don't judge yourself. Uh, you can look for inspiration in other people, things, mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and the last one was, uh, you, we already spoke about the mantras, right? And the chants. Yes. Yeah. Well, one of them I mentioned was the VAM, but there's also other mantras that you can say. There, um, you can say the, uh, things just in English. For example, I accept a flow of creativity in my life. Mm -hmm. And I accept and embrace my natural gifts. So, so many of us, I think the reason that we're unhappy is because we're not using our gifts in, in a creative way like we have all these gifts but because of school and society we've suppressed them and that's why we have a blockage in our creativity in our sacral chakra because we're suppressing these natural gifts that we have but maybe the gifts that we have we don't believe that we can earn money for them and so like we have to find a job that we don't necessarily really like and then we're unhappy and then we turn towards addictions and maybe you come home and you just finish a bottle of wine every day of the week just to get through your job and it's because you're not using your creative energy. You've, you've suppressed who you are. 
Yeah. Um, but there, you can seek help. You can. There's always professional help to help you. And maybe your job is just something right now that you can make money until you can use your creativity. Maybe you work 40 hours a week, and then the other 40 hours, like Saturday and Sunday, and after you do something creative when you get home. Like for me, when I was working as a lawyer, I always had to stare at the computer. So when I came home, I never looked at my computer at all. Like I didn't answer mm-hmm. anything. I just listened to music. I made a meal. I sometimes I chant when I'm when I'm cooking because I feel like the chanting goes into the food, and I love making food with uh-huh. love. Yes, uh, you know while you're cooking, um, gardening. Maybe you like to garden. That's mm-hmm. creative, like making your own garden. Uh, yeah. I always mention dance, uh, creating vision boards, like just just being creative in any way that you can. Mm-hmm. And uh, something I forgot to mention is that. You know when you watch a child play and they build something with their Lego box and then when they're done, they tear it down? Well, they don't get upset. They just rebuild it. So that's the yes. attitude that we need to have. When we start on a project and it doesn't work out and it doesn't turn out exactly the way that we want it, let's not get upset. Let's tap in- into that inner child that we have within mm-hmm. us and start building new Lego blocks and start yeah. new and, and embrace that, that now you have another option. Now, now you figure out one way that it doesn't work. Well, let's figure out a second way that it works. Exactly. Let's let's see things more as an opportunity to grow, to learn. And uh, if it didn't work, then you have another opportunity to be more creative, even more creative, and and challenge yourself. Because you know, if things work the first time, good. If they don't work the first time, so what happens? What's the worst thing that can happen? Um, and it's it's really good that you mentioned that uh, we are not using our creative energy sometimes, and we are doing work that we we don't want to do. Uh, we can also use our creativity because if you sometimes we have no option. I believe that sometimes we have no option. We have to stay mm-hmm. there for a reason. And so why don't you use your creativity to find the ways of enjoying that work? You know, mm-hmm. um, it's, it's fun to, to record this podcast, but, but it's boring to, to be one hour listening to my voice and see, and you know, and that part is boring. So um, let's find like creative ways of doing what we need to, to do, because sometimes, like, you know, life is not fun all the time, but mm-hmm. you can make it fun. You can mm-hmm. sing while you cook. Yeah, yes. cooking is boring or not boring for you. You can sing while you cook. You can turn on the radio. Uh, you can think about good stuff. You can you can place your vision board at the office. Mm-hmm. So when yes. you take a break, you look at it and how and, beautiful that yes. is. And I forgot to mention the element that is associated with the chakra is water. Oh. So it's flowing. Water is always moving. Um, and yeah. Like if you just tap, maybe taking salt baths, we talked about that, like taking a bath with mm-hmm. Epsom salt, um, mm-hmm. like what, that helps clear your energy. So when I come home, if I have, if I feel like I very like stuck energy or something happened at work and I don't feel good, I take a shower and I mentally say to myself that I wash away all of the negativity and the negative oh. vibes and that I yes. start a new day. When I am finished with this shower, mm-hmm. I'm going to be like my true self which is that inner bliss remember the mantra that i shared with you anandoham i am bliss Mm -hmm. and everything else is a story so the story that i brought home wasn't very nice maybe i i don't know maybe i was chewed out at work for for a mistake i made and so that i'm like pondering and that's staying with me it's like oh now now like what am i gonna do like it's this like energy of fear it's this energy of like fear of change you know, what do I mean? So just take a shower, take a shower, wash off that energy, or maybe sit in the bath and take an Epsom salt for 30 minutes mm-hmm. and clear that negative energy. And then when you get out of there, or maybe go back to journaling, we both love to journal, journal yes. out the problem, journal out like what the solution might be, put down your emotions, like so much, like, for me, it's very difficult for me to be in my emotions, because I was always check out as a child, because I didn't want to face the, the scary emotions. And so you know, just write down what emotions you're feeling and, and do anything that has to do with water. Maybe go for a swim. Like if you live near water and have the opportunity just to go for a swim, mm-hmm. just to change your energy, to, to come into like feeling better and renewed. Yeah, you were flowing, your creative energy. I didn't want to interrupt. Uh, but uh, regarding the shower, if you don't have the opportunity to shower, you have just, you know, a few seconds you are in a stressful situation, try this thing. Go to the toilet and wash your face. Yes. Wash yes. it away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You 
seriously, you will not believe what that can do. Just that can do for you. Mm-hmm. This is if you if it's a little bit of a quick fix because that's sometimes we just have a second. Yeah. So just mm-hmm. wash mm-hmm. your face, wash your face, and face the situation mm-hmm. again. You will see it with um, other eyes. Uh, mm-hmm. Another thing that I wanted to mention that tell tell me. No, I was going to say, you can also visualize yourself with the last time that you were uh, very strong in a situation. So mm-hmm. when you're in the toilet, you're, you say to yourself, I am strong because I overcame this. I am strong because I overcame this. Mm-hmm. I am strong because I overcame this. I'm going to overcome this situation too. It's just another situation. Yes. Okay. Yes. I was going to uh, be a little bit, you know, tr- like tricky over here because creative is, creativity is really good. But sometimes we are so creative that we use it against us. Creating stories, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. that came to my mind when you said that thing about that you were creating a story over the situation. Like, Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes we are too creative. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes it's not like that. Uh, Sometimes creativity within limits. Because I, I, I'm a very creative person. I consider myself as a very creative person. And I'm also a Gemini. So sometimes... <laughs> we both are. Yes. I add something. You have, to, you have to bring the other twin in. <laughs> and I suffer so much with this story that I'm inventing. You know? Yes. That sometimes doesn't even exist. And that's, I love that you mentioned that. How many times do we tell ourselves a story that does not exist? That is not the truth. Yeah. And until we have someone come into our life and, and we share that story with them and then they tell you, like, that's not how I see you at all. Uh, but that goes back to, like, your childhood. You know, how was your childhood lived? Like, so mm-hmm. much. And I talk about this a lot. What happened to you when you were a kid? And so maybe you need to visualize that inner child and just give them a hug and say it's going to be okay. Yeah. And when that happens, I usually ask myself, well, I get tired. Usually what happens is that I cannot be sent for so for too long and yeah. see I cannot it's it's not anymore okay mm-hmm. so now I'm just like oh, please girl um, but when it comes <laughs> <laughs> seriously I'm like stop it yes. <laughs> so sometimes I'm like is this true mm-hmm. I'm like thinking and you know usually this happens with conversations that I have with other people yeah so mm-hmm. Like, is this That's true? a good point. Is this true? Is this reality? Or is this just in my head? And like, I think as Gemini's, we have an issue or a problem with always being so much in our head. Like we invent yes. so many stories about the situation. It, it, it's like we're like three, four different people. Yeah. And so that also comes, kind of brings it back to what we talked about in the last podcast is wearing a mask. Yeah. You know, like it, so we have to be very careful about the stories that we tell ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So use your creativity to get out of that stage okay make it stop mm-hmm. you know make it stop click uh physically move yourself dance yeah. like Ivan yeah. always, always says dance it out dance it out it's yes like dance. So shake simple. it off just just listen to that song just shake Bye. it off shake off all that bad energy taylor <laughs> swift yeah shake yes. it off shake it off <laughs> <laughs> oh i love this so much so yeah, so a lot of techniques and things and beautiful stuff. Um, do you want to add something or should we move on? Uh, to our- the only thing I would say is when you're feeling stuck and you don't know, and maybe you're telling yourself, I'm not a painter, I'm not a singer. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't, have, you don't have to be Katy Perry, okay? You don't have to be Taylor <laughs> Swift. Like you can just sing in the shower, yeah. uh, hum. I, oh, some other breathing techniques I forgot to mention is the Brahmi breath. So it's like when you close your eyes and you close your ears and you just hum like, "Mm, that is excellent. That is soothing. It is very soothing. It it changes your perspective. It helps like move stuck energy. Uh, Mm -hmm. And so I do that for five minutes in the morning and I do the alternate nostril breathing. Um, So you can use all these techniques to help you feel better and to help move this stagnant energy. But, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe you are creative. You just never knew it. Like I bought this mandala book and every night I just color in it. Like it's very simple. Like I didn't draw it. Somebody else drew it. I'm just coloring. Mm -hmm. But you know what it's happening? It's bringing me back to that inner child that loved to paint, that loved to maybe finger paint and so Mm -hmm. think about what did you enjoy as a child like 
did you enjoy riding your bike? Like, what were things that you enjoy? And maybe you can do that as an adult. And, you know, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe buy yourself a Lego set and start building Legos and see how you feel doing that. Yeah, yeah why not? Just use that energy. I mean, as, uh, as Ivana said, you don't need to be like the best in the world and you don't need to share it with millions of people. You just mm -hmm. need to do what makes you happy. And yeah. if just and use this energy because it's inside of you and wants to get out and do stuff. Yeah. So just do whatever you can and to the level that you can. Maybe you will grow uh, and share it with the masses, but maybe not. And maybe you will be yeah. like a lovely person to your family and share it with your family. Or yeah. it's an intimate thing because it's good to have intimate moments as well. Yeah. I share a lot of things. I'm not sharing my journal. It's intimate yeah. and it's beautiful, you know? It is. I remember I met this Ayurvedic doctor when I was in India and he talked about how his life did not begin until he was 40 and essentially he was a pediatrician um, and he didn't like talking to those parents of the kids that were sick and he just dreaded it and he wasn't living according to his dosha and we'll talk about that later in another podcast but it's a type that um, uh, it's in Ayurveda we say that you're you can be three types vata pita pita vata or uh, kapha and so he was doing work that did not um, go towards his inner being and so then mm -hmm. finally at 40 he changed he became an acupuncturist and with that he got to access and channel his creativity because that takes a lot of creativity to figure out like where to put the different needles and so this man said that he actually started living at 40 when he started mm -hmm. living according to his dosha and his creativity that he had been suppressing all his life so it's never too late it doesn't matter how old no. you are or how young you are what age you are no. you can always start new you can always start fresh and you can start these techniques and see how they're working for them yeah. so i think this week we would really love to hear from anybody that has tried some of the techniques that we've mentioned here and to see if you felt a change like what happened when you tried out some of the things that we mentioned in this podcast yeah please let us know and just choose uh, I, I have made this mistake before which is trying to do five things at the same time mm -hmm. like just mm -hmm. choose one and try it out and see how it feels if you want to incorporate uh, other things later then do it mm -hmm. just try one thing try journaling for a month just that you don't yeah. need, you will already see the changes and you're going to open yourself up for complete new worlds and mm -hmm. more things and the energy is going to start moving and you're yeah. going to feel the changes. So just choose one thing and let us know what it was and how did that go? Yes. Yeah. So um, today we wanted to give to you something. Uh, we want to do a visualization exercise. Uh, basically, what we want you to do is just to use your creative energy uh, to create your, like a better life for yourself, yeah. to create your dream life, because this energy that you have inside, it wants to come out, it wants to express itself, and we are living lives and we're busy and we're doing stuff and we're so busy, 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 busy that we don't stop thinking about it. So now you will have the opportunity to do something that is going to help you think mm -hmm. about it. So a few recommendations. Sit down, back straight, or lay down if it's too uncomfortable. Um, if you are driving, please don't do this. <laughs> Stop the podcast and then come back to it. <laughs> um, and just safety relax. first. <laughs> what? Safety first. Safety yes. first. <laughs> um, and just relax and let go and see what happens. Okay, are, you, are you ready, Ivan? Yes. Are you gonna follow? I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna close my eyes. Okay, everybody, so we are ready to start our guided visualization. I really hope that you like it and that you feel peace. First, we're going to start with our breath. Breathing in. And breathing out. 
relax your body, make the necessary adjustments, and keep breathing. Remember, you are safe. Close your eyes. And keep in mind, this is a safe space. So whenever you want, if you really feel the need, just open your eyes. And when you want to come back, just close your eyes again. Breathe in and breathe out. Whenever you breathe out, just go deeper, a little bit deeper. If you start thinking about something, just say thank you in your mind and let go. Then return to your breath. Keep breathing, your natural rhythm. Just inhaling and exhaling. Now imagine that you are sitting in a cloud. Don't worry if you don't see the cloud. It's okay. Just feel it. Go with it. You are comfortably sitting in a cloud. And this cloud can take you whenever you want. If you feel like it, you can lay down in the cloud and feel its texture. Breathe in, breathe out. The cloud starts to move smoothly, taking you to the future. You start seeing yourself 10 years from now. Everything is the way you want it. You can see it all. You, 10 years from now, living the life of your dreams. How are you feeling? Do you feel happy and peaceful? Grateful, more powerful? What do you see? Is there a new house? A new car? New people, maybe? Or new family members? Who is around you? What do you see yourself doing? With who? You remain in this cloud comfortably, visualizing your dream life and everything that comes with it. Breathe in and breathe out. Every time you breathe, you go deeper and deeper. What a beautiful life you have built for yourself. You take a last look at it and slowly you allow the cloth to take you back to the present. A present full of possibilities. Breathe in and out as slowly and deeply as you like. Once again. And whenever you are ready, you can slowly open your eyes. That was really nice. Good. <laughs> Don't you love that time that comes after meditation? Yes. Almost that mandatory silence. Yes, I agree. And I love it. Yeah. So we really hope that you enjoyed and felt this uh, visualization and you can turn back to it over and over again if you would like um, and yeah just think about all the questions like who was there and what did you see because um, I did this kind of visualization um, another time um, 
And what happens is sometimes I see different things and I notice that was this inside me? I didn't know that I wanted this. Um, so to do this, um, like, I don't know, twice, three times a week, I don't know. I think it's a very good um, experience. Um, and also, I would really, really advise you to just grab a diary and journal on it because uh -huh. whatever you saw, it's juicy. And if you're ready, just start working on it uh -huh. right now. Yeah. I like that. That's a good idea. Yeah. Thank you for doing the visualization. Sure. Thank you for doing the visualization. <laughs> so I think that's it for this week. Yeah. Is there anything else that you want to say before we go? Oh, I feel so like calm and peaceful right now that I, I really just want people to take this. I hope that people could feel this and just mm -hmm. take this with yeah. them. Um, and use it. That's it. Yeah, I think they will be. I, I definitely had a really nice image that I'm going to journal about for sure. Okay, I'm going to leave you alone so you can journal. <laughs> uh, everybody, subscribe, uh, click the notification button. Last time, uh, the last episode, I totally forgot, but this week I learned my lesson and I have like a check in. Uh, box task list so yeah we're going to uh put our email chai with us podcast at gmail.com over here um and yeah we just want to hear from you and please please <laughs> please yes send us an email everybody um and that's it be happy enjoy life be creative yes. you know you know who you are be it exactly I agree. Be it. You know who you are. That's Absolutely. It. Thank bye you so bye, much everyone. for tuning in and join us next week as we discuss another topic. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Namaste, everyone. <laughs>